Hey everybody, welcome back. I appreciate you being here. So guys, you're at the point now, as of the recording of this video, which is October 4th, you have 14 days before Windows 10 end of support. So a lot of you may have just installed Windows 11 or just got out and went out and got a computer that has Windows 11. Um, maybe you know a little bit about it, maybe you don't. Maybe you hate it, maybe you like it. Uh, but today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just a small handful of things that I suggest that you go in and change right away to make it a better experience. So with that being said, let's get started. The very first thing that we're going to do is uninstall Microsoft OneDrive. OneDrive is Microsoft's version of their cloud where you can store files and stuff like that. Um, they give you a certain amount of space for free. Once you exceed that and need more, they charge you for that. I don't like OneDrive. The problem with it to me and a lot of my techie friends is it's just an inconvenience. Um, it it auto syncs. It, it starts up when you it, it launches when you start at the computer. It auto syncs your desktop documents, pictures, really without even, you know, confirming with you if that's OK. It changes where your files are stored and creates confusion amongst users like on are your files on the cloud on OneDrive? Are they local? For me, I prefer my files to be local. They're my files. I don't want them on Microsoft stuff. So first thing we do, we click start. Now we can just type in programs here and go to add or remove programs. And then you're just going to scroll down. It's going to be under Microsoft. Now, this is pretty much a new install of Windows 11. I've done some stuff here and added some things, so uh, that's why you will see, see some things in here. Um, so let's go back up here. Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft. Okay, so OneDrive, you see it right there. Get rid of OneDrive. You just click the three dots here, click Uninstall, Confirm Uninstall, and let it do its thing. Now, while you're in here, you might as well get rid of other things that you know you're not going to use or you don't want to see in the computer. Like for me, Microsoft Teams. I don't care about Teams. I will never use Teams. I don't like Teams. Um, you know, so go through this list. And if it's something that you know you will not use, get rid of it because you're simply just taking up space in your drive. And some of these actually may be running in the background too. So, you know, that's taking up random access memory. So that's the first thing. Uninstalling OneDrive, you know, specifically, let's target that. But also getting rid of a lot of the junk that's uh, pre-installed with Windows 11. We don't need it. All right, guys. So next, I'm going to show you how to turn off Windows services in regards to telemetry. So go ahead and click on start or in your search and we're going to type in services here. And the service that we're looking for is called connected user experience telemetry. And it's in alphabetical order, which is good because I can barely even find it when it's in alphabetical order. So, you know, let's just scroll through here. Here it is. Connected user experiences and telemetry. As we can see, by default, this is running. Now, what this is, this is Microsoft's service that allows telemetry to be pulled from your system, telemetry data. And what that means is they're looking at your web browsing experience, what kind of programs you run on your system, your, your behaviors on your computer. To me, this is a big privacy violation, and they don't need to have that. So let's turn that service off. So a couple ways to do it, we can right click on it and hit stop, or we can just highlight it and hit stop up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop it there. And then uh, when you go in here, it's set to automatically start up. So when you restart the computer, it's going to start again, but don't let it do that. So startup type, just drop this down and we're just going to tell it disabled. We never want it to start again. Hit apply. OK and you're good to go. That disables that telemetry service, which is a huge privacy violation. Um, there are some other things that you could do in regards to that. I actually have one or two videos out there. Um, I'll try to remember to put them down in the uh, video description. If you don't see them, just 
send me a comment, yell at me, and I will get those put in there. All right, so the third one I'm going to go over is system notifications. You see this irritating stuff right here? These are always popping up, and they're annoying. I don't like them. A lot of people don't like them. So here is how to disable them. What you're going to do is just go into your start menu here, and you're going to go into system. Actually, my bad, you go into settings. But you have to know how to spell. All right, so we're going to go into setting, settings. And then we're going to go into system here. And then you're going to look over here for notifications. Now, once you open that up, you see that notifications are on. So you can use this arrow and just pull that drop down. And you can just go ahead and uncheck every single one of these. Or you can simply just turn this off and that will disable them as well. Then what you want to do is you want to scroll down, I believe. Yes, and then go to additional settings. And then additional right here, these are some more notifications that you can get rid of. So let's just turn all of these off. Now, as you can see, the little notification bell is gone. You don't have to worry about that anymore. And Windows 11 can quit bugging you. All right, so... Um, one last thing that I wanted to show you, and this kind of goes back to the first thing of uninstalling applications. So what I want to show you is your start bar here, or your start button. If you see, you click on your start button. I've moved mine into folders and got everything really nice and neat here. But generally, you will see a lot of pinned items here when Windows 11 is installed by default out of the box. All you have to do is right click those and uninstall those and they will go away. The other thing that I kind of wanted to uh, show you here, if we right click and go to taskbar settings like we have before, um, we can do this personalization thing here. You see this here? This is your task view. It just creates a secondary desktop. Some people might like that, but I don't. Let's go ahead and turn that off along with widgets. See this down here? These widgets are annoying too. And you can go ahead and turn that off as well. Now, some of you may like the, uh, the start button in the middle. But for those of you that don't, if you scroll down here, taskbar behaviors, you can actually move that back to the left, as you see. Yeah. I happen to like mine like in the middle. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave mine centered in the middle. And let's look, go back up here. The only other thing I want to show you here is search. Now, you notice I have no search on my taskbar. That's because I hide it. But I think it comes default like this. Or maybe, let's see here. Yes, I think that's default when you install Windows 11. I don't like a search bar here because, one, it takes up room. And to me, it's redundant because if you click on start, you have a search up here. So I don't see a need for it on the taskbar to take up room. So I simply just turn mine off or hide it. And so then you don't uh, see that. And all you have is the start button, searches within it, and then you're good to go. Anyway, guys, that is the handful. There are so many more, uh, but that is the handful in this video today that I wanted to share. So if you've just gotten Windows 11 and this was helpful, let me know down in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to subscribe, that would be awesome too. Thanks, guys.